on the seventh day of the week, God rested before his resurrection, his victorious and glorious resurrection. Jesus too rested. He was laid in the tomb, his body scourged and wounded. Jesus rested in the sleep of death. Jesus' followers and disciples also rested, somewhat exhausted, tormented, and traumatized from the events of past few days. Today too, Holy Saturday, the world is in absolute deafening silence. In this pandemic, we have been silenced. We are deprived of the typical activities that we at once mark this important occasion, but also distract us from entering into events of Holy Week more fully. I think in this trying time, we need to rediscover our real priority in life, that is savor this lockdown in order to return to God and make Him the center of our very lives. Let the silence of the atmosphere bring us to a deeper conversation with God where our hearts can speak the heart of God in the silence. Let us remember the teachings of Saint John of the Cross who taught that God's first language is silence. While we can often find this language of silence difficult to comprehend, nevertheless, we are called to reconnect to God through His language. We must learn to be silent and rest in God even when we are exhausted, tormented, or traumatized. Indeed, my brothers and sisters, we are invited to listen intently to God. Let us steal our mind from thinking too much and give Him the chance to speak to us through our worries and fears. Above all, let our hopes and prayers refresh us and raise us above our current crisis. I pray that we may joyfully greet the Easter season singing the words of the Psalm 118. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. With a joyful heart, I implore you to join me in this prayer. Loving God, you have created us as your children. Help us to listen to you as our Father. Teach us to know you, to know your language of silence, so that we can connect with you even in busiest time of our lives. Amen. Amen.